Hey guys, this is Upton Man coming at you with a review slash overview of my Arsenal AK. Uh, this is the Arsenal SGL 2161, and this was what the Russian military was using uh, prior to, I think, the Arsenal SGL 106 or SLR 106 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but this was what they were using prior. Um, this is chambered in, of course, if it's an AK-47, chambered in the 762 by 39 um, And yes, this uh, rifle is unloaded. Um, we'll start up front. We have the AK-74 uh, style muzzle brake. Uh, front side post, cleaning rod, bayonet lug, uh, gas tube, whatever else. This rifle comes with polymer furniture. The only thing that I done that I have done to this rifle is the pistol uh, pistol grip. Sorry, I'm looking through my camera and I I, I missed. Sorry, um, it's the pistol grip. Uh, this is a U.S. Palm pistol grip. It feels outstanding. A lot better than the original pistol grip that came with it. It didn't give you a good purchase on the on on this rifle. Um, it served a purpose. It served its purpose, and it was good for that. But this is a this is a lot better. Um, polymer furniture, like I said before. Uh, optics rail here. Uh, the rear peep sight really isn't all that great. Um, you know, I'm switching this out to a Krebs custom peep sight, um, and it'll look great on this. Um, what else can I say about this? I have a, a Blue Force Gear Vickers sling. This is in foliage green. This was a Christmas gift from my brother. Uh, you might want to swing past his page also. He, uh, his name is J. Freeman. He has some good stuff on there. So check him out. Um, there's really not too much I can say about it. I mean, it's great. It's not, it's not inaccurate, but, you know, this is more so a uh, minute of man kind of rifle. It's not... It's not an AR, so it's not going to, you know, really reach out there unless you have some some kind of Travis Haley magic touch kind of thing with the with the rifle. So, uh, this is really good. I like it. I believe I paid. Oh shit! I believe I paid roughly around nine hundred dollars for this rifle. Um, I am a left-handed shooter, so if you're wondering why the uh, wire loop is threaded through the gas tube and barrels, because I'm a left-handed shooter, and it feels more comfortable on my left-hand side. But, uh, yeah, I paid roughly about $900 for this rifle, um, and this was before the whole firearm getting thing, too, because I've seen these jump up on Gunbroker for about $2,400, and that is... No bullshit. I've seen these. This this rifle right here uh, jumped up on Gunbroker for twenty four hundred dollars. I think the lowest I've seen this since was maybe eleven hundred, which is not too bad considering what they were going for before. But I picked mine up for nine hundred nine hundred dollars. Uh, that's plus tax. So I think I think plus tax was like maybe nine thirty six. So. Not too bad. I got this at my local gun shop, uh, Gun Connection. I know I talked about them before. Uh, you know, it, it's a gr it's great. Now, I can't really say anything negative about it. The only thing I really want, or not want, but need, is a uh, front sight front sight tool. Now, it shoots it shoots good groups, but uh, fresh out of the factory, it shoots gr good groups. But problem is they're not as as tight as I want them to be. I kind of want them to be booty hole tight, but I doubt that it will get like that considering it is an AK. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please voice them at the bottom of my page. Uh, if you have, you know, any suggestions on how you think I should customize this rifle further, please leave them at the bottom of the page. Um... You know, there's really not too much I can really say more about it other than this is a uh, stamped receiver. You know, the two dimples are the stamped receiver. The larger, the larger dimple um, are called the mill receivers. You know, the difference in that is 
weight and magazine wobble. These dimples, those dimples work well with magazine wobble. Um, at this juncture, I have, well, at this point, I have um, Tapco mags, and I have two clear uh, Bulgarian mags, which are apparently hard to find. So, other than that, yep, guys, if you have any, guys and gals, if you have any questions about what I have here, please feel free to leave the comment below. Alright, this is Upton Man signing off. Stay safe and keep shooting.